Hey folks, Will Brink here, uh, www.brinkzone.com, and the topic I want to talk about today is uh, metabolic burnout. Uh, it's, a, it's a term that you hear quite a bit, uh, but it doesn't really have a, a solid objective meaning, I think, in, in the minds of many. Uh, some people, the, the basic of metabolic burnout uh, is people uh, who have dieted severely, dieted for extended periods of time, who in theory, supposedly have damaged their metabolism permanently, uh, or at least semi-permanently, and what they refer to that as metabolic burnout. Uh, the issue with that is the science is not very good there uh, as far as supporting the concept of metabolic burnout. Uh, you don't generally see people that have dieted severely, been on severely long diets, restrictive diets, uh, who have uh, suppressed their uh, metabolic rate, and so on and so on. Uh, once they get back to normal amount of calories, fix their diet up, uh, we don't tend to see long-term damage. That is, in those areas you look. Now, remember, the human body, the human physiology, human metabolism is a very complicated system, so you're not looking at everything all the time. You're looking at certain hormones, you're looking at RMR, you're looking at a number of things, but I can say that the data is not terribly supportive of the concept of metabolic burnout long-term. And, and you, of course, have really extreme examples of people that have been uh, you know, in prison camps, people that have been starved to death, uh, when refed, uh, after a time, there certainly is some adjustment, obviously, metabolically, but after a time, they seem to normalize as far as, again, what you're looking at, hormonal levels, uh, metabolic rates, and that type of thing. But I don't think that totally dismisses the concept of metabolic burnout. Honestly, uh, again, I've known a number of people, especially women uh, who have been on severe diets for long enough periods of time, which really does seem to be uh, in the real world some real uh, dysregulation with their metabolisms uh, and I've never really quite pinned that down uh, as to uh, what what the specific change in their metabolism was. What is it that they have not looked at maybe to find uh, where does metabolic burnout uh, stem from. So my basic uh, position on metabolic burnout is to be honest with you, it's, it's not terribly well supported um, by the medical literature, by the scientific literature, I don't think it's it's something that's seen as a um, a true problem in most people. And again, we're not talking about acute issues. You know, somebody who uh, damaged uh, some specific part of their metabolism, damaged thyroid or something. But again, th thyroids are mighty tough. I got to tell you, uh, they are, the thyroid gland is a very tough gland that tends to uh, bounce back from all manner of abuse. To be honest with you, but I'm just using that as a as a possible example. Uh, so to reiterate, we don't see a lot of support. Uh, you know, clear and obvious support for metabolic burnout where people were on severe diets, they got their diet act together, their bodies never responded the same, they couldn't keep the weight off, so on and so on. Those problems that are associated with metabolic burnout. I can say, uh, and this is one of those rare occasions when I'm going to say, you know, real world effects. I have worked with enough people that have been on severe diets, and again, especially women, where um, something has never been quite right with them. Uh, and sometimes you see some some irregularities in some areas, such as some of their hormones and stuff. But I have to say, I don't, you don't see consistent changes where it's always this hormone or this part has changed. So uh, my answer to that is, um, I don't. There's not a lot of support for metabolic burnout, though. I still think there may be something to it. I just think we're not maybe looking in the right places as far as supporting it, or, or at least say, let's say, proving it uh, to the scientific community. So I hope that helps. If so. Um, Please hit the likes, uh, sub up to this page because you can see I take an objective science-based approach uh, versus a bro-science approach to my topics, and I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.